Good morning, everybody. Jason with Learn to Survive. I'm just doing a quick video, and I'm calling this tip of the day. Stores do not carry inventory and back stock in the back like they did 20, 30 years ago. Everything is just-in-time delivery, and there is some drawbacks to that, and that is drawbacks to the store that benefit you. Everything is auto ordered based on records from the prior year, how much they sold, how much they put out per day. So they get deliveries every other day. And when they do inventory, the store office, the head office has a very small window that you can be so many packages over, so many packages under, it's fine but they don't want you too low and they don't want you to have a big surplus. So if sales of a certain item are down from this time last year, they keep getting this in and they're not replacing as much on the shelves with it, which creates a back stock. So a week before inventory to keep everything the way it should be, they do a big inventory reduction sale. Now there's two keys to this. One, be related to somebody that works in the store so you know when inventory time is. Or kind of make friends with somebody that works in the store. Use the same cashier every time you go shopping. Um, little small talk. Ask them how their day is going. Try and build a quasi-friendship with them. And they'll be more than likely to tell you when inventory is going to happen and you know the week before that. To start checking the clearance aisles. The second thing to this is go early. I can't stress this enough. The earlier the better. When I know the local Kroger's here is having inventory and I know stuff's going to be going on the clearance to balance out their books, I go at four or five o'clock in the morning right as the night crew's finishing and they're cleaning up. And today's find was a really, really amazing find. Kroger's brand fruit and cream oatmeal packets. But I can't make this up. 39 cents. That's all I paid. So I got five of them. I took half of what was on the shelf and left half there for somebody else. Last time they had inventory. I got Duracell and uh, the Energizer Max Ultimate and the Duracell, uh, uh, what, what's the red one? I can't think of the names they sell. The red ones, the real high dollar ones. Um, that's uh, comparable to the Duracell Lithium Max uh, batteries. I'm talking $10 packs for $4. Um, they also had uh, winter cold medicines that they were overstocked on and uh, allergy medicines. So I got bottles of uh, loratadine, which is, I think, like Claritin. And I've got uh, boxes of uh, Mucinex that I paid 25 cents a pack, for, you know, 25 cents a box for, 25 cents a bottle. Um, you know, got vitamins, that 25 cents a bottle. Um, so there are really good deals to be had, but you have to know when they're doing this inventory reduction sale and you have to go early just to see what's being put out. Um, I'm also thinking about next time they do it and they have stuff like batteries on sale. Um, if any of you guys are interested, you can put it down in the comment and I can do, if I get enough people that said, yeah, they'd be, interested in doing something like this. Um, I may do it, pick up extra that I'm not putting back into uh, my stock. And if you guys want to cover the uh, price of the items and shipping, you know, I'm not going to make any, I don't want to make any money off anybody. Um, just help you guys out uh, if I can. If there's enough people interested in that, let me know in the comments. Let me know what kind of items you'd be interested in and I'll keep a watch out for them. Uh, with that being said, I'll wrap up this video and I will talk to you all later. Take care of yourself, take care of one another and have a great day.